just um, uploading a little short here. Um, I've had a few people ask me some questions um, about what I would like to share and things like that. Um, mainly it's going to be about my experience with grooming um, and, and how that happens. And now with our kids being online, a lot of times we don't know what they're doing. Um, it's even easier for these people to get their hooks into our children. So um, first I would ask you if your kids spend a lot of time alone online. Um, do you have filters on your internet so that you, um, or that you can see what they're doing, always have access to what they're doing. Um, because for me, I was, I spent a lot of time alone. And uh, when I met this man, he would just talk to me like a friend real casually. Um, and it's so slow that I didn't realize what he was actually doing until uh, I was in it and, and trusting this grown man, despite me being a 14 year old child. Um, they're going to do things to gain your kids trust. Um, and it won't be invasive at first. They're not going to ask you, they're not going to ask your child, um, uh, specific things at first. They're not going to ask your address. Usually, um, they're not going to immediately ask to meet up. Um, they're going to just talk to them about their day. Um, what are you studying in school? Uh, what do you like to do on the weekends? Um, Sometimes they'll even pretend to be kids themselves. Other kids, in fact, I think a lot of times they'll pretend to be um, teenagers or, or you know, somebody that is your your child's age. Um, and don't think that this can just happen to teenagers. It, it can start even younger, um, nine, ten years old. Um, I was an only child, so maybe that had a lot to do with my trusting this person. Um, because as an only child, I would spend hours and hours by myself and we didn't have the internet then. Um, so, um, even though I did have a period of time where I would, you know, sneak out with friends and, and things like that, most of the time I was actually spent at home alone and my only access to strangers far away was 1-900 chat lines and they were a big thing for a while and you're supposed to be 18, but they never, you know, they didn't check. So you'd be on this chat line talking to a whole bunch of different people. And I said that I was 18 initially. Um, and then if you wanted to talk to somebody private, they'd kind of take the two of you, put you in your own little private, you know, chat room. And um, once I started talking to this guy, just us alone, um, I did tell him I was only 14 and he didn't care. And I later found out, even though he told me he was 21, he was actually 26. So 14, 21, that's still creepy that's still predatory um but it starts slow if you notice any changes in your kids if they're spending more time alone if they're acting sullen and withdrawn if they're shutting you out the most important thing I can tell you as a parent now myself to teenagers and a grown adult child um be willing to talk to them about anything if they're in trouble let them call you without judgment I mean, yes, you'll have to deal with that stuff, but you'd rather them come home safe and sound, right? Um, you do want to teach them values, and you are their parent. You're not their friend. But as they get older, they need to be able to, to, to trust you enough to tell you about things that are going on. If you shut down every conversation and you aren't willing to understand or remember being a teenager yourself, they're going to shut you out. My kids can talk to me about absolutely anything. We don't always agree, and I don't put a rubber stamp on bad behavior, not by any means. Um, but I have shared with my kids what happened to me, how that happened, and why I feel the way I feel, because I don't want any of my boys to go through what I did. And it does happen to boys, too. Look it up. It happens to boys. It happens to girls. Um, I think it's one in four girls will be sexually abused. One in six boys. So let's just, you know, our boys need our protection just as much as our daughters do. Sons are still children. I don't, I don't believe in that whole boys can't be sexually abused. It, it's, it's bullshit, excuse me, but it is, it's bull. Um, boys and girls need our protection and they need us to be there, be their voice, stand up for them. So please pay attention to your children. Please know what they're doing. Put those filters on. Um, if they have phones, um, 
do as much as you can to make sure nobody is is um, reaching out to your children. If they play games online, if they're online, make sure they know what they can and cannot give out. Never tell strangers where you live, N- not even the town or city you live in, really. Um, generally speaking, I say you can, you know, if you're, if you're talking to people game-wise, you're in the United States, Southeast United States. That's as detailed, specific as you should get. Um, if you notice, I don't really put my kids on here. Um, you've seen my my youngest a few times in like little, little silly videos um, and with the dog or items we did for uh, Gish, um, which was a scavenger hunt by an actor named Misha Collins. You've seen him doing short little things like that, but this is never going to be a family channel. This is my kids will never be front and center on this channel. Um, so I just wanted to touch base a little bit and let you know stuff is coming. It is my recording setup has not been successful as I hoped. And I'm trying to download an editor that can help me make more professional style videos. Cause right now this is all I got, you know, I have a great camera. Um, but I haven't really figured out my background and my lighting and all that, but this is going to be become a more active channel. Um, that is my new year's resolution for next year, 2023. Um, I will be uploading and I will be recording on a regular basis. So thank you all for being patient. I'm at almost 300. That's great. Um, you guys, you guys deserve um, more uploads, more videos from me. So just touch your base. And I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And um, I hope your next year is absolutely amazing. Peace.